so what Grandmaster Presas was to me um, was uh, yeah, it was many things. Uh, first of all, uh, I was very interested on. Uh, not sure if that's the right word, but when, when I started, I, I came from a Japanese background. I had some bad experience with a super uh, strict hierarchy in, in uh, Japanese arts. And uh, after a while I got fed up, so I, I got more interested in going to Philippines. And uh, coming to Philippines, I wasn't sure how to treat Grandmaster. I know he was a Grandmaster, we met before. and. Uh, a little bit funny because in the beginning I want to make everything right and, and I, I asked him uh, one of the first days uh, what do you want me to call you sir do you want me to call you grandmaster and then he just said yeah, you can call me Ernie and <laughs> I never called him that ever in my life but I was kind of shocked but I thought it was cool because he didn't tell me to respect him but it was just by the way of being for me, he's always been Grandmaster. I never called him anything else than, than Grandmaster. But not because he told me to, because he was the Grandmaster. And, and uh, I think that's very cool. Uh, when somebody tells you you should call me this or that, it's not respect, it's more obedience. See, he, he was very laid back. Uh, but he was also a fantastic person. He can be very, uh, he can joke a lot. Uh, but of course, it was a serious side. But on my first trip, uh, I was training mainly with his top instructors, but in the last days he, he, he was doing things because I didn't see him do a whole lot, so it was interesting. So I was always thinking, how good is he? His instructors is so good, uh, but I didn't see him do so much. He just showed, do this, do that, work out with that instructor, Christine, you do something here. And, uh, and then he came out the last couple of days uh, with a uniform and, and um, a stick, and we did freestyle, and he basically just beat me up. And he just, uh, and I don't know, I didn't get it, because he, he was just fighting me. Uh, not really in a bad way, but not in a nice way either. But then he just joked about it. Okay, good, you're good now, Johan, go back home, practice more, you're going to be better. And ha ha ha. So it was always, so it was, um, I don't know. So it was the fighter and the joker at the same time, which is a special combination there. And, but that's what, what the Grandmaster Prisa was for me. He was very good, very skilled. And he can do the stuff when he wanted to, but he can also pull out a lot of jokes. So become a very good friend of having that. I, I want to be the same. I, I want to be tough and a good instructor, but I also want to be a good friend. And I, I don't want to be super serious all the time. I want to pull a, off a joke as well. And uh, he was very good in that.